5G fifth generation technology promises faster download speeds and conveniences that most of us have never dreamed of, but will also be blanketed with a new type of radiation called millimetre waves. Health experts are warning about the rising risks with a 5G rollout. It's not been made clear to the public that 5G won't just be another number and letter on your cell phone. It requires an entirely new infrastructure of thousands of small cellular antennas to be erected throughout cities where it's going to be installed. What would 5G infrastructure look like? Small cell antennas could be placed as close as every third hydro pole. Scientists from 42 countries are now warning their governments about the emerging health problems associated with wireless radiation and Canadian doctors and scientists have added their voices. The most prevalent symptoms include headache, fatigue, decreased ability to concentrate, tinnitus, irritability and insomnia. Impacts on the heart and the nervous system are also of great concern. Dr. Rena Bray has been working at the Provincial Environmental Health Clinic for 15 years and seen the number of people suffering adverse effects from electromagnetic exposure rising. We are concerned that the upcoming introduction of 5G will significantly increase the proximity and extent of exposure to microwave radiation in Ontarians. We predict that the number of people who develop the symptoms I just mentioned will rise in the places where 5G is first installed. Dr. Magda Havis is internationally recognized for her research on the biological effects of electromagnetic pollution. She said that at high intensities, these waves cause intense heat and pain because sweat glands on the surface of our skin act like mini antennas. At lower frequency, scientists are predicting damage to eyes, loss of insect populations which are already declining, antibiotic resistance in bacteria and physiological effects on the nervous system and on the immune system. Radiation from radio frequencies is classed in the same category of carcinogens as lead. One advisor to the World Health Organization said there's enough evidence that if they were to re-evaluate radio frequency radiation, it would be placed in class one, i.e. a human carcinogen, and governments could not possibly ignore that. Some say the scientific debate about the health effects of microwave radiation is over, but the question remains, can we afford to take this risk? Medical doctors are requesting delayed deployment until testing can be conducted on the long-term biological effects of 5G technology.